This is my brother. He's our friend. You heard? He's from the Bronx. You heard? He's mad funny. Everybody, please make a lot of noise right now for the very funny Johnny Robinson! Here we go! Don't that shit, that sounds so good. God damn it, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all! Thank y'all for coming out, man. This, uh, this means a lot, man. It's funny, I was like telling my boys, and I'm doing an album, he's like, Word? oh, you doing a DVD? Wow, okay. Okay, damn. I gotta find my shit, I haven't used my shit in a minute. Wow, you doing a DVD, man. Good to hear, good to... No one knows how this works! You doing a remix to it too? All right, all right, cool. I know my man down by the, you know, by the studio and shit. You can't mix it. It's not, it's not for you. Good to see my fellow black people here, man. This look good. There we go. Cause you know what it is, man. I just hate that stigma as if like black people we don't support each other. I hate. It. I feel like we support each other hundred percent. It just depends on. <laughs> You feel me? It just depends on how much. How much? How much? How much does it cost to be with you? How much does it cost? To be in your presence, how much? How much? We be with you. Like, we be with you up until like a certain point. You feel me? Like, I remember like starting out, right? I had a comedy show to where I had to sell 20 tickets for $20 by the end of the week. So by the end of the week, I had 20 tickets for $20. <laughs> no one didn't show up. And they'd be with you, like, well, you got a comedy show word? Oh, all right, bet, bet. they probably hit you like 10 bets. All right, bet, 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 bet. Say no more. Say no more. Say less. <laughs> Like, what do you want me to say? Say whatever you need to say. <laughs> Bet! <laughs> All right, well, how much are tickets? I'm like, tickets is 20, like. <sighs> <sighs> okay, they probably hit you with like 10 okays. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they look on the ground like the 20 gonna be there. Okay, you said. <laughs> nah, your man said 20, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, damn. I wish you would've told me that beforehand. <laughs> before what? No, before I said bet. I gave you 10 bets. Now you betting on me to come, and I just don't have that. I put $20 on FanDuel, so it really depends on if the Knicks win or not. It's just... How do we do it? All right, good to see white people out, man. That's always good. All right. Because when y'all go out, y'all interesting, right? Because y'all get to go out, right? Have like a nice, good time. Then y'all get to just say bye. All right, like, bye. I'll see you later. It was a beautiful time. Bye. Yes. For some reason, yo, black people, yo, we don't say bye, yo. I don't know what it is. We don't. We have, like, a nice, good time. Then we be like, all right, be safe. <laughs> I said, be safe. Like, is there a bounty on my head? I have no idea. Just be safe. <laughs> My fugitive, I have no idea. Just be safe, like why? Call me when you get home just to make sure you get, I don't have your number, why? Be safe. Why do we do it? It could, it, it, it could be trauma, it could be trauma. Might be. Because anything could change in a New York minute, right? And let alone, I mean, it's dangerous being black and, you know, in America, well anyway, but you know, hell. Like recently, man, I got kicked in the head by a, a subway performer. <laughs> I can't even call him a performer. He was just a nigga who kicked me. Just straight. <laughs> Boo! Right there in the beanie. Right there. The crazy part is, like, the OGs, the OGs never kick you. They be this close. But they never kick you. Maybe you win, probably just, like, breeze by face. Just... <sighs> that was a lot of wind gusts. It was, right? It was a lot of wind gusts. 
but they never kick you. Right? It's like to be dancing, right? <laughs> right? Then it's like they lock eyes with you. <laughs> then it's like subconsciously you're signing a wave. Like, do you trust me? <laughs> I think I do trust you. Please continue. I right, thank you so much, right? This dude, yo, he ain't even do that, yo. Dude just came on the train, he just started dancing. We like, bro, where is the music at? Where's, where's the setup? You don't, you don't have an engineer with you? Where, what happened? No, foreplay or nothing, just straight going in. Like, and he had on corduroys with a button up and a name tag. I'm like, nigga, did you just quit? And he was dancing, like, you know, it's hard out here. I said, stop dancing and talk to me. It's hard out here, you know, I gotta, come on, bro. Kick me! <laughs> the messed up part is, after he kicked me, he like, oh, wow. Wow, that's crazy, wow. Now that, that's crazy, wow. My bad, wow, wow. Couldn't be me. I'm like, nigga, what do you mean couldn't be? You did it. <laughs> You're like, wow, they really wildin' right now. They are, I'm like, you're the they. You are the they. <laughs> they really wildin' right now, wow. Then he took his name tag off. I said, nigga, is this supervisors on this train? Why are you? <laughs> couldn't be me. <laughs> Kick me. He had no professionalism. You know, usually, you know, like the OGs after they done, they give you like, you have like a Yankee hat, like, yo, if you want to give a donation, anything helps, you know, pass it around, right? This dude did not do that, yo. Dude just looked at me, he like, yo, real quick. Yo, what you think I need to work on? I'm like, fam, fam. First of all, I'm not your manager. I'm your victim. And to be honest with you, you kicked all the thoughts out of my head. I don't know what to think right now. What stop is this? I'm confused. Then he picked the stereo up. I'm like, yo, you ain't even used the stereo. Why are you picking that up? Then he just, as, as he was like leaving the train, like, yo, my, once again, my bad, but yo, just call me when you get home, make sure everything good. I said, I don't have your number. I don't know you, why? It's crazy, yo. It's a dangerous time, man. I feel like it's dangerous too, like, I feel like it's dangerous if you're wealthy and you're in like a relationship. Uh -huh. Like y'all realize all the billionaires is getting divorced, y'all realize that? That's crazy, right? Like Jeff Bezos, right? Elon Musk, right? Bill Gates, Dr. Dre, but he a doctor, right? <laughs> doctor. And the women like, like, like they take like, like half, they're going halfies right now, half? Which, which, which it makes sense if the woman was there, you know, before the business blew up. I understand that. But half though is still hefty. <laughs> it's still hefty. Still hefty, it's, let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack. It's a little, it's, it's a little hefty, little hefty bag. It's a little hefty. <laughs> like I'm not a billionaire, right? But recently I, I went through something like that, right? So I go to the store. <laughs> it's, it's gonna equate. It's gonna equate. Not a billionaire, but I mean, we all have some half situations that it, it messes with you personally. Like, now I know what they be feeling. Like, you should take it, but you kind of, to your person, like, it. So I go to the store, right? I go to the store. I buy a, a Reese's peanut butter cup. Right. Simple, you, simple to you, but it means a lot to me. All right, I buy it, right? Come back to the crib. And my girl asked me for half of my Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm like, yo, fam, what type of animal are you? <laughs> it got so bad that next door neighbor heard it through the wall. Like, what'd she say? I'm like, hold on, fam, I got it. <laughs> it's, in, uh, it's impossible to share a Reese's. Have you seen the commercials? There's no one in the fucking commercial. <laughs> it's literally just for your eyes only. It's just. And you just be looking at it like, word, that's for me. That's for me right there. That is for me. If somebody try to watch the commercial with you, mm -mm, back the fuck up. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till Snickers come on them. Kit Kat, this is, this is my VR goggle moment right here. This is, this is for me. It's impossible. It's impossible. 
First of all, as soon as you take the Reese's out the wrapper, the wrapper already took a piece. Little, little, little line around the wrapper. Like, come on. Or the lawyer fees already came out. This is crazy. This is not wild, this is wild. This is wild. Now I gotta share with all three of y'all. It's like, come on, now, now, you just pushing to the limits. It's wild, yo. And my girl was like, my girl was so mad about that. She was like, yo, so you're seriously not gonna give me half? I'm like, I'm positive I'm not giving you half. Well, you gotta hold my, you gotta hold your ground. I'm, I'm positive. Just call whoever you want. I'm positive. The sales associate already left, so he can't even get in between this. Positive. So I walked towards the bedroom. The crazy thing is, she didn't even say goodnight. She just looked at me. She's like, all right, be safe. I said, oh, shit. You gonna kill me over Reese's? It's chocolate. We got Cocoa Puffs on top of it. It's not that deep for you to... I don't know, it just, like, I feel like some things, right, are, are meant to be shared, right, with a limit, and some things, you know, you could just share. That's why, I think that's why I'm like, I'm kind of scared of success, because it changes you and people, like, around you, man. Like, I know I'm successful when I could give somebody two pieces of gum at the same time. <laughs> two! You realize no one gives out two pieces of gum? Like, we don't trust giving somebody another piece of gum. We have enough gum, but it just don't sit right within our spirit. Like, nah. Why should I? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust this right here. So we don't. We do not give out two pieces of gum, right? It's like you be chewing it, right? So I'm be like, yo, 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 let me get some gum. You're like, yo, first off, lower your voice. Lower your fucking voice. You don't see people around, lower your fucking voice. Come talk to me, because I see our relationship is... Lower your fucking voice, man. Lower it. And let me see your vaccine card just to make sure this transaction goes smoothly. I don't want to touch your hands and then my hands get on. Okay? And give me, matter of fact, give me your ID. When you finish chewing the gum, then I give you your ID back. It's my rules. If you, if you want, you can ask somebody else for another for gum. I don't need you. You need me. Just remember that. Oh, my bad. All right, it is your bad. Huh? You know what's the hardest gum to share, though? Orbit. That's the hardest gum to share, yo. Like, why the corner pieces of the gum never want to come out? Right? Like, why it's so hard for you to take the corner gum out, yo? It's like, as you trying to take the gum out, the gum, like, back the fuck off. Get the fuck off. <laughs> come out, I ain't coming out. I'm pussy, nigga. I'm pussy. What? That's gum. Get back off. Rap, you become get off my shirt. Man. Damn, this gum got hands. Get off of me. Come on, y'all. Let's stick together and fuck up this cardboard box. Come on, man. Yo, first show, y'all good down there? Yo, we good. We good. How y'all doing up there? We all right. Come on, man. You tight. Yeah, you going through it right now. We ain't coming out. One man, one gum. What you fucking think? Yeah. This is gum fighting back. This, this toy soldier gum. Right? It just I don't I don't know. It could be. Could be me, yo. But I am in a relationship though, man. That's the crazy part. There we go. Dang. You know what's cool when um. Like the person that you with is your friend. I think those are like the best relationships, right? When it's like more than like a relationship, that's like your actual friend. Beautiful. Like my girl, that's my boy right there. It's my guy, that's the Brody. And that shit hurt. Like when you realize like you love your girl, I think it's with, I don't know if it's just with guys. It like it hurt like right here, like, ah, oh, damn. I care about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Kobe Chum, I think it's with anyone when you don't know how to like, like accept love. You're like, ah, I care about your feelings. Get back the fuck away. <laughs> Damn, what happened? I love this person. Damn. I'm annoyed. 
<laughs> you just become annoyed. Like, damn, I really love this person. Damn, I'm so annoyed right now. Like the first time my girl told me she loved me, like she didn't even use the word love, yo. I had to like put the cl cl clues together. She from Harlem, so the way, you know, the way they say love is very different. We was just chilling one day, she just started looking at me like, yo, yo, I fucks with you, yo. You my son, I'm your son. Oh my God, that is so romantic. So, wow, I never had a father figure in my life, but you. My son. That's your girl now. That's my father and my girl. Oh, yeah. Playing both roles for me at this point in my life. Beautiful to see. Beautiful to see. Crazy, yo. Then I feel like when men, when we realize we love, love girls, it's very different, yo. Like, it's annoying when someone, like, tries to make you better. I don't know if it's just me. When they try to, like, make you better and prove you, it hurts. <laughs> Let's keep it a stack. It hurt like you trying to make me. Ah, oh, damn, you know my flaws? Like, oh, this is, this is sad to see, but so happy to see. Right? Like, I remember we was baking cookies, right? Baking cookies in the Nestle joint, right? That comes in like the, the yellow package. <laughs> Double chocolate chip. Oh, the two for tens. <laughs> there we go. I like that laugh right there. That's, that's what we need there. That's the. Feel me? You know it. So we chilling, right? So she takes the cookie dough out the package, right? And she puts it in the pan. They're like three rolls, like bang, 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 right? So I go try to eat the cookie dough. You know, you know how, now you take it like just a little bit before you, you know, you bake it, right? So I go try to eat just a little bit. She's like, no, babe, you have to wait till the cookies is fully baked. I'm like, ah, shit. You trying to teach me patience? Oh, shit. <laughs> You trying to make me better. Usually I get the cookie dough, but you, you want me to wait? Oh shit, this bitch got me. What happened? She made me wait for cookies. This is, <sighs> this is crazy to see, damn it. You know what the crazy thing is? It wasn't even the cookies that did it. It was the almond milk. <laughs> like, let's, let's, let's be real, yo. Almond milk costs like a thousand dollars a quart. <laughs> A court. You have to have an LLC to buy almond milk. They're just not gonna give it to you. Counts as a write up. They're gonna ask you, sure you wanna do this? This is. As soon as you buy, you get a credit card, my lord. Like, damn, I went down 20 points. This is. <sighs> this is wild right now. It's, it's, it's expensive. Like, the way me and my girl drink almond milk, we drink it like we drink it wild. We just be on some. <laughs> You always got to say you good to somebody. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Who you talking to? I'm, to the mayor, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> like, what is this? This is Almond Breeze Merlot? What is this? <laughs> Savion Silk. You know, this is, I could taste it, yes, yes. Then you start using words you never used before, like, yes, yes, indubitably. <laughs> I have no idea this almond will give me a master's degree. <laughs> I studied abroad? Where did this come from? What the this is crazy. Like how Peter Parker realized he was Spider-Man. Like, what, what, I'm brolic now? This is crazy. This is how did I? But we recently just, uh, like, like we was living together for like a couple of years, right? And um, we just recently we, we, we thought about, well, not thought about, but we got our own separate apartments, right? So we separated, right? And um, breakups hurt. Hurt, right? Especially when you build so much love and trust like a bond. Like, that's, it's kind of painful, right? But I don't think that hurts more than like losing like your iPhone headphones, man. That shit, <laughs> that's a breakup. Your headphones, that's some painful shit right there. Cause you're not getting that back. You cannot repay that relationship. There's no therapy for that. And the messed up part is when you lose your headphones, you get paranoid. You start looking at other people's headphones. You're like, hold on. Are those my, are those my headphones right there? Yo fam, come here real quick. You start checking random people. Are these mine? Are these my earwax? Or oh, these are yours? Because mine's usually burgundy. You know, I think these are. No, I don't know. Y'all realize like we became like like bougie over headphones too. Y'all realize that? Like people like with the AirPods. Oh, they are so bougie, yo. 
They just feel like they just automatically better than you. <laughs> just the way that they pull out their headphones right at their charger pack, right? They just be on some. <laughs> it be butterflies, like we get butterflies from. <laughs> Comes with the charger pack. Comes with the charger pack. It's winter time. Ain't things supposed to be in a cocoon? I mean, you know. I got the iPhone Plus. Plus? Yeah, plus butterflies. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy to see. All right, you know some... For some reason they do this. I don't know what they do this for. And they look at you to put like, like your headphones, like that be depressing, you know? Cause I still got the headphones like with the wires, that's, that's pressure. You gotta untangle it in a room full of Bluetooths. <laughs> you headlining that show. You the headliner. And everybody just watch you going through it too. As you untangle it, it just look like you knitting a sweater. Just... <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you, yeah, I'm crocheting right now. You're like, do you need help? You're like, get the fuck away from me. No, I just wanna know if you have apple care. I don't even like apples. No, I don't have apple care. I don't like that shit. I'm just. Right, yeah. I don't know, man. I just recently, um, like when you, how should I put it? Like when you break, not break up, when you separate, you realize you start like, you realize really your flaws, yo. Like I gotta do my own shopping now. Like that's, cause she was the, the one who normally remembered to bring the bags, right? So now, that, now that's on me now. <laughs> Stay home, but we gotta get the bags. Oh, okay, my bad, all right, let's get the bags, all right? Now I gotta like go shopping like by myself. Like this is this adult shit is crazy. This is wild, yo. You don't just be shopping like yo. This is wild. This is. <sighs> you end your whole day. What you doing? Like bro, I just went shopping. I'm I'm done for the count. I I can't. It's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? I just went shopping. It's, it's, it is rap for me for today. Call out of work. What happened? I just went shopping. I gotta I gotta. I need some time to myself right now. I gotta meditate. Cause you don't know what you're going through. Right? You gotta have like a favorite bag too. You realize that? Like a, like a, like a go-to bag. <laughs> gotta have a favorite bag. Like my favorite bag is the blue Ikea bag. <laughs> it's my favorite bag, you know, right? Strong, right? Durable, right? The straps never break. <laughs> and you can literally like put anything in it. Right, like during the hurricane, I just saw a brother just kayak in the blue Ikea bag. <laughs> he put the straps up like this. That was like, he was like staring at it. I'm like, damn. And I'm looking, I'm like, damn, he going to well against the current. That is, that is beautiful to see. Beauty, art, it's good for him. You know what the crazy thing is, yo? I've never been to Ikea. I don't know how I got that bag. How did I get it? How did this... How did this bag become a part of the Robertson household? I never went there. I don't know how it looks. I heard good things about it. I've never been there. It's just, how? How did I, how did it get here? That's like when you're chilling, then you just like see like a beauty mark on your body. Like, where did you come from? I never noticed you. It. Just, you wasn't here when I first started, but... Yes, I take it. I don't know. Right? Shopping for like a doctor now. Like that's a whole nother thing too when you shop for a doctor. I just broke up with my primary doctor. <sighs> that's tough. That's tough right there. When you break up with like your primary doctor? Like I've been seeing for 10 years and then she just left. I don't even know what happened. She just left. I said, yo, you're not gonna leave a note or text or nothing. Just... <laughs> Let's work through this. Left. Hurts. Now you gotta like, when you break up with your primary doctor, you realize like, it's like dating, cause you gotta like search for like another primary doctor. Right, you gotta see who fits well within you, like the, like the chemistry, right? And it's crazy when you go like see one, your, your friends call you and ask you how the appointment was. Right, like yo, how was the appointment? Eh, it wasn't my type. This wasn't my type, I don't see us you know, working together. What happened? I don't know. She didn't touch me the way I really wanted to be touched. I had to do all the work, I had to do all the work. Yeah, I had to do all the work. I took my blood out, you took your blood out? Yeah. I 
took my blood out. <laughs> then I had to pay a, like a hundred dollar copay dinner. Like it was just crazy. Yeah. Offer me no appetizers. No appetizers. Offer me no appetizers. Crazy, huh? Like recently, I went to um, urgent care. And um, they are not urgent, and they do not care at all. <laughs> they don't care about you, my fellow Americans. <laughs> they don't care about you. First of all, when you walk in, you don't even know who the doctor is. <laughs> you walk in, everybody got regular clothes on. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Is this a club? Like, what is this the moving company? What's happening right now? Why, why is everybody... Got a regular, why you look like me with a chain? Like, what the fuck is this? This is crazy. I'm supposed to see you? Crazy. One doctor, he, he had a pea coat on. I said, bro, where's your white coat at? He's like, no, no, no. This is the Calvin Klein Fall Edition right here. This is... The crazy thing is, I had the same pea coat. I said, nigga. You got that for Macy's? He's like, yeah, okay. Black Friday did you good. Yeah. And the thing about them is they never want to give you like the doctor doctor. They always want to give you like the resident doctor, right? The doctor in training. Like no disrespect, but show me to your queen. Show me to your queen. Show me to, who's the ranking officer right now? No disrespect, but who, who's here? Who's here? Show me, give me the white, the white shirt. I mean, just. Like the doctor who saw me, her name was, um, Dr. Hennessy. <laughs> Swear to God, that was her name, Dr. Hennessy, yo. And you know, like, culturally, like, black people, like, we, we love Hennessy. <laughs> Man, we, we love Hennessy. So I honestly thought it was racist. I said, yo, you know, Dr. Hennessy, yo. I'm gonna be honest with you. Black people, we have transitioned to do say now. <laughs> it's just a little bit more smoother. And she just looked at me, she's like, excuse me? I'm like, forget it, it just went over here, forget it. Just... <laughs> I'm a comedian. I thought you was going to ha-ha, but I forget it. <laughs> Whatever, we're going to move on, right? And um, real quick, fellas, why when doctors check your balls, they never say anything during or after? <laughs> they just check your balls and walk away. It's like, what happened? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> walk away. No, come back. Come back. Who was there? What happened? Why are you leaving me with all this suspense? What happened? and walk away, come back! And clip your fingernails when you touch my balls. Hmm. What's the sound for? Hmm. It's like they're holding some. Hmm. What do you want to say? Hmm. They never say anything. It's just wild, yo. But Dr. Hennessy, she was the first one to, to say something to me. She was the first one. Man. First doctor to ever say anything. She was just checking my balls, right? And she's like, oh, from the right one, you are an Aquarius. <laughs> Vinyls look normal, vinyls look normal. Left one, you have Sprint. <laughs> okay, 4G, 5G boards right here. Limited internet, let me see, okay. Okay, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, okay. It's like, first of all, I came for nasal congestion. What is all this handball stuff? Why am I butt ass nigga right now? This don't have nothing to do with anything of why I'm here. It's not nothing to do with anything. Do you have the nose spray or not? Like, why, why am I like this? What, what's going on here? Why? What, why? What's going on? Why is he still here with the Pico? He's not even doing nothing. He's... Why is Pico doctor here? What is he doing here? What, what, what happened? What, what's happened? This, this room is weird. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't know, man. And I was like sitting in urgent care, right? And that's when I started thinking, I'm like, yo, I feel like, I feel like NyQuil could have been a vaccine, yo. <laughs> you hear me? I feel like it could have been a vaccine. Because it already like temporarily symptoms, right? Right, cold, flu, they already got that. And they have options. Mm -hmm. They have night quail, right? They got day quail. <laughs> they got ZZ quail. <laughs> I feel like every year they come up with like a new quail. Like, what the fuck is all these quails? 
right? What, what, what's happening right now? Right? That's why I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Snoop Dogg could have like a vaccine, yo. <laughs> Tell me, it's gonna be a Snoop quail, yo. Is it me or is he, he's in like every commercial? He's like, what the, hey. like every commercial? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be a Snoop Quill. You're gonna taste like, mmm, taste like gin and juice. <laughs> Prescribed by Dr. Dre, I mean, I guess so. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. That's what the directions say. So much problems in the UGC. It's kind of hard being Snoop D-O-Double-G. Yeah, there's problems in UGC, I guess so. <laughs> right? Like Johnson & Johnson, like Baby OU, they don't have options, yo. They don't, it's just Baby OU, like Johnson Johnson, Baby OU. Like, when I was like a baby, right? <laughs> As if I could be anything else. <laughs> right, As if, like Baby, right? My mom used to give me like a bath, right? You know, you know dry me off, right? And then put like Baby OU on me, right? Johnson Johnson, Baby OU, right? So I've always thought, Baby all you belonged on babies. That was always my, my mental capacity to, to, to understand that, right? Grew up, and uh, the first porno I saw. <laughs> first one, page three. I can remember like it was yesterday. Page three. We appreciate you, Pinky. If you're out there somewhere, we appreciate you. We appreciate what you've done for me. And for the, you know, for the generation, we appreciate you. <laughs> right? Look at him, he's like, who's Pinky? All right, all right, I gotta check that. Right, first point on the I see this dude put baby OU on his woman's butt. I was so confused. Cause I'm like, yo, my mom used that product on me. Who's, who's using this wrong? Oh, am I supposed to be using that? Is it baby OU, is it booty OU? No one has ever said it to me face to face. All this suspense. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Think about it. If that's the case, it should just be baby oil you after dark. That way, <laughs> <laughs> no one is confused. I don't have to go through this. Right? Very gentle. Like, let me get, yo, let me get the, going to the pharmacy nice and pleasant. Like, yo, let me get, um, let me get some Snickers. Let me get a toothbrush. Let me get the baby oil you after dark. <laughs> right this way, sir. <laughs> and just to let you know, between me and you, it comes with a complimentary blue Ikea bag. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is this where you get the bags from? This is where you get the bags from. <laughs> Bunch of freaks with the blue bags. I don't know, man. Trying to get my shit together. I think we all trying to get our shit together, all right? Like if you ask somebody how they doing, yo, how you doing? I don't know, man, just trying to get my shit together right now. <laughs> well, you put our hand on back of our head and just, I don't know, man, trying to get my shit together. Couple of deep breaths, <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> trying to get, like, why are you looking on the ground? I have no idea, I'm trying to look for success right now. I'm trying to see if this shit is. Anywhere! Where are you, good man? Right. I don't know, man. I just want to be in a place to where I don't have to ask anyone for anything. I think that's, that's like a nice place to be, right? You have everything you need, it's a beautiful place to be. You know who don't got their shit together, though? People who smoke. <laughs> I don't think so, yo. They always ask us somebody for a lighter. <laughs> and I'll be confused, like, nigga, don't you do this every single day? You knew the steps way before you was gonna get here. How you managed to come unprepared? Like if I wasn't here, how was you gonna find fire? How? Oh. Oh. Why are you using me? How was you gonna find? It? That's my question. How? I, what you gonna do if I'm not here? All right then. And they look at you. They just like it's like they scan the room just to see who look like they got a. Ah, you, yo. They never say anything. It's like their mute button is on it. You gotta lie. You got, they never say, you gotta lie. Why are you doing that? I don't know if you heard me or not. All right, all right. 
even if you don't smoke, you still tap your pockets. Like, you got a light? Hold on, let me see if I got a light. <laughs> Give me one minute, hold on, I could have sworn. You always could have sworn something. Hold on, I could have sworn. No, no, I could have sworn this. I'm butt-ass nigga right now. Why am I tapping my... And tell me, how did you get into my apartment? I don't know, I just... Get the fuck out. You don't live here. I, I live in 3B. 3B, no. Jeff lives in 3B. You don't live there. Crazy. And no one, like... Like, recently, like, I had, I had dreadlocks, right? I had dreadlocks, which is a beautiful thing, right? And I, but I just, uh, I just cut them, all right? And it's beautiful, right? It's black, all right? Strong, all right? But it's a responsibility. <laughs> because when you have dreadlocks, for some reason, everybody thinks you know how to roll a blunt. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It's like my hair doesn't show that I have that skill. Why do you think? I'm the master at that. And this is comedy, you just, oh, you got a lot, oh, all right, let's go act. Yo, yo, Rollers. Rollers. First of all, we are in urgent care. I cannot roll this for you, Dr. Hennessy. <laughs> Where's my COVID-19 results? Why are you telling me to do this while I wait? Why? Why? Hard. Which, no one talks about how hard it is to roll a blunt. That is very difficult to do. No one talks about that. Look at all the people who know how to roll. <laughs> Whack. How dare you not know how to roll blood? Shame on you and your family. Dishonor. It's like, what am I, Mulan? It's not that deep, bro. It's really not that deep. It's not that shame on you. I got a trauma. I got to climb up a tree. This is crazy. Where Moose you at when you need him? This is, this is wild. This is, this is crazy. Disney movie vibes. Like during the pandemic, like I had like a lot of time on my hands and I literally took the time out to learn how to roll a blunt. <laughs> literally did. I was watching tutorials, right? And uh, in this specific one, like Wiz Khalifa was like the master class instructor. This dude is horrible, yo. He's a horrible teacher. Cause he's teaching you how to roll a blunt in a jacuzzi. I'm like, I, I can't focus right now. Too much bubbles everywhere. <laughs> and why is it baby oil in the background? What's, what's happening within this video right now? What's going on? Yeah, Wiz Khalifa used baby oil? That's crazy, he's a grown man. I guess so. I mean, if need be, but guess. Right? Yo, he's teaching you how to roll the blunt, right? He's like, all you gotta do is this bubble just popping over the blunt. Right? All you gotta do is just put the weed in it and just tuck it. That's all he was saying. Just tuck the weed and you should be good. I'm like, all right, Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> right, following week, right, I just so happened to be on like an edible, right? And it has some weed like, you know, just like hanging around, right? So I decided, I'm like, all right, cool. Let me, let me, let me try to do what Wiz Khalifa did, right? Did exactly the same thing, but I didn't have a jacuzzi, so I was trying to roll a blunt in my tub. <laughs> Yo. Literally, like, so I'm, I'm trying, right? No bubbles, just straight water. <laughs> straight water. You now you can tell me to take a bath, like, man, this is clear. This is, like, too clear. Ain't no bubbles or nothing. <laughs> right, so I'm trying to roll the blunt, right? Literally, all of the weed was just falling <laughs> down. Everything, just as soon as I put it, everything was just falling down. Like, I looked like a ripped tea bag. It was so much... <laughs> residue everywhere. I don't know if Ajax gonna get this out. This is crazy. Then I had Yogi T quotes. My like, Yogi T quotes. One of the quotes said, be whole and never give anyone half of your Reese's peanut butter cup. I said, oh my God. Thank you so much, Yogi. Crazy. That's why I feel like I don't know. That's why I feel like rolling the blunt should be an Olympic show. Because it's very competitive. We're very competitive. Every place think, you know, their weed is better than their weed, right? Every people think they can roll better than the next person. All right, and then they say, like, marijuana is like recreation, right? All right, so let it be, be a sport. <laughs> let it be a sport. It's very competitive. That should be dope in the Olympics, right? Yeah, probably like an announcement and everything like that, right? 
Like as he crushes the weed, a little bit about him, he was a finalist in the neighborhood. <laughs> he was the only one who knew how to roll a blunt in the stairwell <laughs> while his mom was at work. <laughs> I ain't just be on a field like this. Amazing to see, I'm just saying. Yeah. By any chance, you happen to have a lighter, like, oh, this. Wow. Wow. He been rolling for like five minutes, he ain't checked the check? Wow, that, 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 is, that is crazy to see. I think he gonna get bronze on that one, that is wow. We are, we are just competitive, man. Nothing wrong with like a little competition. I think it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, I love, um, like, I'm a big sports guy. Like, I love basketball, yo. I love, like, watching, like, the documentaries, the basketball. Like, my favorite documentary is um, Kobe Bryant Muse. That's, like, one of my favorite documentaries on Showtime, right? And um, I wanted to be a basketball player. I really did, but basketball too competitive, yo, sometimes. <laughs> it's too competitive, yo. Because, like, for some reason, like, when people find out you know how to play basketball, they automatically think they better than you. <laughs> Automatically think they better than you, right? They don't, they don't even have to see you play, they just think they better than you. Like, word, you play basketball, word? Okay, okay, that's what's up. You be on your, you be on your ball, okay, okay. Okay, I'll bust your ass, you don't play basketball. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga's garbage, yo. This nigga's garbage, I'll bust your ass. I give you 30. They always want to give you 30 points. I give you 30. Like, what? With 10 rebounds and 10 assists. Like, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Where you gonna get the 10 assists from? I bust your ass. Like, miss, why are you yelling at me right now? You're on a CVS. Why are you, why are you yelling? This is self-checkout lane opening now. Why are you yelling at me? Why? What's all this energy? We competitive, man. No matter what it is, too. We just compete. Like, I remember, like, I, I took my girl to, like, a pain sip, right? I don't know if you ever been to a pain sip, right? I took my girl to a pain sip, all right? And uh, if you don't know what it is, basically, it's like a class like this, right? Then you have, like, an instructor, like a Bob Ross dude. That's what I call him, right? <laughs> right, Bob Ross dude. And, you know, you're painting on a canvas, and you're drinking as well. But some people go to the paint and sit, they don't even paint. <laughs> they think it's open bar. They, all they do is just come and drink. They just, mmm, this tastes good. Like, you're drinking paint right now. Why are you putting your, your paintbrush in everything? Mm, nah, this is a paint berry and vodka. That's not it. Right? So I'm painting, right? I'm, I'm happy about my painting, right? So I paint like a mountain, right? Sun. A little water, right? So I'm happy about my painting. So, you know, I asked, you know, Bob Ross dude instruct him, like, yo, you know, what you think about my painting? He's like, that's your painting? I'm like, okay, oh, that's your painting right there? I'm like, yeah, like, okay, okay. He started looking at it. He's like, okay, 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 okay. I'll bust your ass in painting, sir. <laughs> this shit is garbage. <laughs> and your mountain look like a TV stand. This shit, I'd throw it away if I was you. Miss, are you with him? Yeah, this shit is trash. Both, matter of fact, both y'all paintings is trash. This shit is garbage. I give you 30 different colors. I said 30 different colors. I don't even know 30 different colors. Hmm. Ah, that's crazy. I know blue and yellow make green. Where are we gonna get the other 27 colors from? Different math, different math. Right? I remember like when you come to school like the crayon box, right? Like a 64 pack, you, uh, you, uh, you all right. But if you come through like a, like a 124 crayon box, <laughs> you a legend. You really a legend right now. And you start feeling yourself. You start asking the teacher if she need anything. Yo, you, you good up there? Not good, is the class good? I'm saying I got colors back here just to make sure. Have no pride, have no pride. I'm just saying me as a chalkboard monitor, I just felt the need to ask if anyone needs anything. I got colors back here, all right, all right, all right. All right. Feel yourself. Oh no, we competitive, man.
That's why I love the Bronx. Like, I'm from the Bronx. Right. There we go. Like, like, I think is like, every... Look, somebody shouted out Queens. That's how, that's how you know Queens get no love. Brooklyn, Harlem, no one said anything. Queens just felt, yo, Queens. No one said, everybody had pride. Like, nah, we good, I don't know. No one said anything. Only thing that guys like coming to America, yo, Eddie Murphy came to our block. I'm like, all right. 50, I'm like, all right, queen, all right. Thank you so much for coming, queens. He was gonna make the album. Queens gonna make the album. I got the album. I gotta, gotta get my credit. Yo, that's me saying Queens on the album. Look at this. Yeah. That's me. Everybody else. Just... What part of Queens? Real quick, what part of Queens? <laughs> what part of Queens? Southside. All right, all right, all right. All right. Like, you heard the mumblings. Like, oh, these are funny. Oh, yeah. Just mumbling. See, I love let it. Mom, I don't really fuck with Southside. <laughs> well, thank, thank, thank. Well, I, I rock with you. Thank you for coming out, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm from the Bronx, man, and I'm like, every place got their own little thing. Like, our thing is, if you see something, keep it to yourself. <laughs> keep it to yourself. No one knows nothing. No one sees it. Keep it to yourself, right? I'm telling you, like, I was in the park, right? And I see this lady burping his baby, right? <laughs> like, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, she was burping his baby dumb hard. <laughs> but it was like one of those babies with like no sense of humor, so he's staring at me. <laughs> his hat was falling off, but he just kept staring at me. <laughs> right, burping the baby so much, the baby throws up on her, sh you know, on her mother's shoulder. I'm like, oof, shit is disgusting. You know, so I wanted to let the mom know, like, miss, I want to let you know that your baby just threw up on your shoulder. But I felt like the baby was looking at me like. Are you about to snitch on me? And he just fixed his hat. Mind your fucking business before I throw up on you. And by any chance, you happen to have a lighter, because this onesie got no pockets. I said the Lion King onesie. He's got no pockets. I no pockets. <laughs> Crazy, yo. Like I realize, like too, like so much going on with like, like see, I like dirt, like different states. They have like, I don't know, ab ab abortion laws, right? mandate, right? right to carry. Right? So much, so much different things going on. Right? Yeah, I realize too, like America only cares about America a little bit. Right? Like we, we just naturally care about certain places in America. We do. Like, who cares about Maine? <laughs> it's Maine? Like, no one cares about Maine, yo. Like, if Maine leaves right now, nobody gonna stop Maine from leaving. <laughs> Maine's gonna be like, yo, I'm out. We're gonna be like, all right, cool. We wasn't even thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, that's your man? Oh, I thought it was with you. <laughs> He'd be up there somewhere. <laughs> no one cares about Maine, yo. And I have some people who like argue, like, nah, we care about Maine. Maine got good red lobster, you know, good seafood. I'm like, the Bronx got good seafood. Go to City Island. Go to City Island. I mean, you're gonna have to probably like throw a chair at a fellow customer. It's like a WWE situation, but it's good seafood. Right, you know? Like, I remember I had a show on Maine, right? And my boy, like Kyle, he was mad happy for me. He's like, yo, you got to show him main word. Like, oh, man, congrats, bro. You really doing it, yo. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Like, you really doing it, yo. Oh, man, that's where the main chicks is at. I said, that's not how main work. <laughs> you just go up there, find host some women. That's not how this works. <laughs> Crazy. 
I did my research on Maine. Maine is actually one of the safest states in America by like 72%. That is disgusting, yo. Because <laughs> keep it on, like, you that safe, like, that's, that's kind of, uh, like, uh, that's, that's uncomfortable. You that safe? <laughs> I don't know, yo. Because that means they probably have, like, conscious murderers who, like, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> who would, like, hurt you, but then, like, care about you. Right, who would, like, stab you. Don't worry, help is on the way. <laughs> apply pressure, apply pressure. Like, why are you helping me and hurting me? I got you. Real quick, why when people get stabbed in movies, why they never blink their eyes? They just be on some... <laughs> like, bro, I stabbed you five minutes ago. We gotta go to the next scene, bro. Hold on, let me take my contacts out. No, close your eyes right now. This is a Spike Lee joint. Our budget is not the biggest, but please close your eyes. Crazy! Now, like I said, I'm from the Bronx, man. We got the highest crime rate in New York. Roughly about 100%. Can you beat that, Queens? Nah, Queens get busy. Queens get busy, Queens get busy. Nah. Yeah, nah, nah. Queens get busy, Queens get busy. I don't know what he said, but I know he's angry right now. I'm gonna slap that funny nigga as soon as he get off stage. Why do we do it? But no, we got one of the highest crime, well, in the, like the Bronx crime rate is crazy, man. We've been winning a couple of championships, man. <laughs> we got some chips, we got some chips. And I be trying to tell like, uh, like my boys, man, um, like we need to do something positive within the community, right? Rather than like start a program to where we could come together as one and invade Maine, man. We need to invade Maine. <laughs> They stormed the Capitol, let's get Maine. Just to, just to test out our skills together. I've been holding that cough. I've been holding that cough. I don't know if y'all saw that, I've been holding that. Like, ah, one more punchline. Ah, one more. Cause you can't cough out, I mean what? I've been holding it, I probably let it go. Ah, all right, we can. I got two more, then, then you can question me. Three cough minimums. One, one cough, you good. Like, ah, he good, he good. Give him a haul or something like that. Oh. Not a yellow haul, you know what I mean? Y'all really, y'all notice like, like, it's so much like first time dog owners now. Right, like a lot of people's like, for, you know, getting a dog, right? Which is, which is beautiful. Now, it became a little weird though. Yeah. How people talk about their dogs, right? It's weird. Like I met someone like, this is my dog right here. It's my son, my daughter. Yes, my dog has its own HBO Max profile. Just so, go watch Puppy Dog Pals. Yes, my dog. Even my boy, like he just got a dog. Yo, we was like literally chilling at like a bar, right? We chilling. And he was like, damn, yo, I gotta get my, I gotta get my dog a uh, haircut, man. And I'm looking at him and he ain't have like, you know, like a lineup or shape up as well. So I'm like. <laughs> so I'm looking, I'm like, yo, but what about you though? He's like, nah, me and my dog, you know, we share the same barber. I'm like, bro, that's disgusting, but where? I don't know, man. And they say like, you know, dogs is good for like emotional support, right? Which, which I believe, but I, I never had that experience, yo. Like the first dog I had, I was seven years old, right? I had a, I had a wiener dog. You know, like little hot dogs, right? And his name was Oscar. Oscar my wiener, right? Beautiful dog. Only thing is, no one in the hood knows what type of dog this is. Now, I said for the Bronx, they only know like the pit bulls, right? Rock wilds. 
We can throw a chihuahua in there, little poodles, Yorkie. No one knows what a wiener dog is. So I walk the dog, so her dude's like, what the fuck is that, yo? <laughs> nah, your man is dumb long, yo. Yo, his body's dumb long, yo. Nah, what is that, yo? Is that a possum? Nah, 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 that's... That gotta be a mongoose right there. Body's dumb long, yo. And it, it annoys me when black people try to guess something. They always snap their fingers. Hold on, that's the, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the, um... Hold on, stay right, stay right there. That's the, um... Ah, I lost my thought. Hold on, that's the, um... Oh, that's the drink from Toy Story. Okay, that's the dog from Toy Story. Okay, okay. Is that Slink? That is Slink. Wow. Body dumb long, yo. Dumb long. Real quick, how far does he stretch? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, this is his body. I don't believe it. Yo, get his arms, I'm gonna get his legs. We're just gonna stretch him out just to see if he lying or not. I, he lying, let's just see. Body dumb long, yo. Crazy. Even, even like dog walkers has changed, right? It's dangerous to be a dog walker. Lady Gaga dog walker was shot four times, right? He lived. <laughs> but he was shot four times. Two dudes tried to steal, you know, her dog. Well, they did, two French bulldogs. The third one, they said, got away, though. It was, it was the black French bulldog. <laughs> For some reason, I was kind of hype. I'm like, okay. Only Lupin know how to get out of, out of overwhelming situations like that. Only Lupin. It's a good Netflix series about a French guy, but he's black. I'm like, that's a Lupin dog right there. That gotta be a Lupin dog. Right? Crazy part is, man, she offered $500,000 to whoever would, you know, return the dogs. 500. That's crazy. You know how many times my mom tried to give away the dog for free? <laughs> Just because she thought I wasn't taking care of him, you know, what I should do is tie his ass to the tree, let the squirrels whip his ass. And Oscar, like, what did, what did I do? I'm not, ain't no food in my bowl. Why are you mad at me? I didn't do anything. Huh? But he's healthy now. Like, the dog walker name is, like, I believe Ryan Fisher, right? He's healthy now. Now he's back walking Lady Gaga dogs again, right? Which is weird, but all his friends, like, support him too. Like, you're a hero. We support you, and they're walking the dog with them. Come on, come on, let's walk the dog <laughs> together. Dog day, yeah, 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 let's fight. That's crazy. Now his friends is doing that for him. <laughs> I can't even get my friends to pause the game so I can use the bathroom, let alone <laughs> call me to walk it. I, 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 I wish I can ask my friends to call me to walk a dog. After, especially after I got shot. <laughs> I wish, I wish, like we be chilling, right? I'm like, yo, bro, yo, comb me outside. Outside, all right, bet, 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 bet. I got you, we outside, I got you, bet. Yeah, I'm about to go uh, walk the dog, you about to go walk the dog? Nah. Nah, they wildin' out there. But um, yo, you be safe though. Thank you so much, New York. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Come on, make some more.